hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back yes i am on here with a but i hope you'll give me a pass i am in the privacy of my own home but hey <laughs> today i'm doing my monday books and business video on mondays i do videos about books and business on tuesdays my do-it-yourself projects on wednesdays my hair story and by the way do you want to see what my hair looks like oh my goodness this hurts i have something going on with my back up here this top quadrant it is i've never had a problem like this before but it is excruciating pain and i don't know if it is a pinched nerve but i i did lift a lot of heavy stuff recently and it felt fine but days after oh my goodness i felt like i slept the wrong way and i've never really had back problems before but when i sit up in my vehicle and i drive it hurts the worst and it feels like i have a charlie horse in my back in certain ways i move my arm if i hold it up like this it brings some relief but the pain has started to tr travel from my back around to this area and i feel like i need a really great massage therapist and it may be a kink that they need to work out but when my one of my daughters and my granddaughter try to massage the area it feels so much better so I am going probably to try to go to a massage therapist before going to a doctor because it's not getting any better. Uh, if you've ever had this type of problem, um, let me know maybe what it was or what it is. I've tried to do a heating pad with a massage um, with it, with the vibration massage. and. It helped, but whew, I've been sleeping on my back recently because that's the most comfortable position. But like I said, when I move certain ways, it feels like I have to see how my back is going to react to the position. And it feels like it spasms sometimes. And um, I even have strain when I turn my neck certain ways. and. Um, it kind of travels up through my arm. So uh, I just want to say, you know, life and health is precious and something that we might take for granted until something happens. And we really have to maximize every moment. So you don't know what might happen from day to day with your health, with your life, so really, if you have the energy and the strength, even if you don't feel like doing things that need to be done sometimes, try to get it done anyway, because you don't know how you'll be in what position you'll be. So with that said, what was I talking about what I talk about on certain days of the week? Um, I think I was up to Wednesday, my hair story. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. You want to see my hair under this? Okay. So I'm going to be putting my, it's just in like a, I had plaits. See there, I know you're saying, okay, you can put your body back on now. I still have, I had two plaits on this side, two plaits here. And in the back, the same thing. I have two plaits here connected and two plaits here. And I'm going to be doing a detox with clay. I think my hair is full. You know how I've read that your hair strands can fill up and i think i've been putting stuff in my hair even though i call myself cleaning it with apple cider vinegar or aloe vera i still think that my hair just just is is just is full of whatever product i have in it even though it's natural and i need to detox it so this wednesday today is my tuesday video and i know it's not tuesday i'm just catching up but for my Wednesday hair video, I'll be trying to apply my clay and doing a porosity test where I take a strand of piece of my hair, put it in water to see if I have low porosity or high porosity hair. 
On Thursdays, I talk about music and poetry. There's no thing I know one like you. On Fridays, my fun fitness challenges. I don't know how fun it will be <laughs> this week coming. Actually, yeah. I can't do, I don't feel like I can do too much physically. And I have been doing things in certain ways. Like I can swing my arm long ways, holding it this way. If I'm sweeping, that doesn't hurt. But it's kind of more subtle moves that hurt in certain positions that I take that, that really make it painful. And um, so on Saturdays, I talk about fuel and what I call spiritual food mind food yeah that's it so i want to drink my water i haven't been drinking enough water and i last week made the fenugreek water and i drank it and it's supposed to be good for inflammation pain and uh something else and so i am going to take another bottle put me some fenugreek seeds in it uh, i'm gonna save a little bit of this and put some fenugreek seeds and let them soak and add some more water and drink that to see if it helps with my pain and I'll let you know that. But for now, I'm gonna drink my water. I'm gonna leave that much for my fenugreek seeds. And I'm at 10 minutes already, just kind of rambling. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk about business. My business. How did I do last month? What's on my report card for the month of May? I did reach my main goal. I talked about at the end of May, I had to accomplish a goal and I did a lot of moving and they were heavy objects and I did it by myself. And maybe um, I really always do stuff like that and I use leverage instead of a lot of strength. But maybe I did something wrong this time. Will I do it again if I have to? Yes, I'll just try to make sure that I, I uh, do things the right way. I'm supposed to use <clears throat> You know certain parts of your body to lift things and you can lift things the wrong way so I have to make sure <laughs> that I'm doing that the right way but um it's the sixth month of the year and I should be vegan like I shouldn't I feel like I really shouldn't have a problem by now but I'm still struggling and I was eating ice cream every day <laughs> Uh, a dollar ice cream from a certain place every day for uh, four or five days last week. As far as business is concerned, that's my business. <laughs> uh, I am having little problems with documentation. Like I didn't put what I did to my hair in my journal last week. I probably am not being as consistent as I'd like to be. I think I'm doing pretty good with not spending money, but um, oh, I'm getting a little pain right now. I think it's the way I have my arm up here. Overall, I feel like being consistent is hard, especially when things like this happen. And when you have things that come into your life and make things not so monotonous, it's good that every day is not exactly the same, but it also kind of throws you off and sometimes it's hard to get back on track. So I'm gonna give myself, I'm gonna give myself a C minus for just where I am with my goals. Just my goals this year are to be basic and cons consistent and to uh, get rid of things that I really don't need and I am having a problem with sorting things out right now organizing organizing I think it's a great business for people to go into with helping people organize their homes 
at the same time, a lot of people might not want just strangers in their homes with their private things. So, but I think it'd be a great business, especially for, for seniors who can't maybe do a lot of moving and lifting things and just kind of have collected a lot of stuff. So I tried to join a buy nothing group. I think there were a couple of them and I never heard back from them. A buy nothing group, I believe it was on Facebook, is a group you join and you give things away. And when people give things away, you just collect them. It's not bartering, you're not trading something for something from someone. It's just that when someone gives something away and you need it, you go get it. And then when you have things you don't need, you just give them away. So yeah, I may have to start my own <laughs> because I did not ever get a response. Might try it one more time. I think that's a great way to give to people when they're, when they're in need. I need to have some yard sales. Right now, I really don't feel like I can do a lot of lifting. So that's kind of interrupting my plan. But as far as my books are concerned, I have a few of my books left and I need to market them more with places that have things for children, especially for the summer. And I have two of my grandchildren on the back there. So I hope you understand that this video <laughs> Woo, that really hurt right there is going to end now I am going to lay back down and if you hear noise in the background it's a loud fan but my grandchildren are still asleep so I'm trying to be trying not to talk so loud but yeah I'm gonna give myself a seat I don't know if I talked about all my I didn't make notes and write my talking points and I'm probably won't edit this video so that's how I think I did for the month of May and with my vegan journey I, I need to just stop buying things that are not vegan that's my way that I'm going to be successful with my with my business with books and just my business my personal business I think I need to be a better organized person and be more consistent and make sure that like I was working on time make sure that I set a time to do things every day and stick to it it might go over it might go under a little bit but that's how I'm going to make sure that I do everything that I'm supposed to do in a day and on my do-it-yourself projects with my do-it-yourself projects. I didn't get started with the leather seats in my car, but I hope to, maybe I can start that today. I just, just cutting the loose leather on the front seat and just placing the bond and flex on it because it has to dry. <sighs> maybe I can do that for my do-it-yourself video, which is gonna be next. And for my hair journey I'll be doing my clay and my porosity test for that video and I'm gonna try to finish learning Fantasia's song I believe to finish making my video yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do for Friday's fun fitness challenge but in my what are we wearing series is really the whole reason this channel got started I have not gotten back to what the next topic is I sure haven't I have a list somewhere nearby and I'm supposed to be on I have I know I have it in my notebook I'm supposed to be on another subject and talking about how that affects us externally internally and spiritually I have to usually I do a little research and, and uh, try to make it interesting so I'll try to get back to that so thank you for watching this video I hope you understand what I am going through right now I like I have pain 
right in this area of my arm oh my goodness and my back is coming from the back area and I just feel like I need to get comfortable and be in a comfortable position but thank you for watching this video until next time have a blessed day